my previous instructional vlog, episode 6, I shared the steps I went through in spousal sponsorship application in Canada. And today, I'll add our spousal sponsorship timeline indicating details which can guide you along with your application. November 16, 2022, I completed and submitted our application online using the PR portal. And after submission, I waited for the update by always checking my emails. January 21, 2023, after 66 days of submission, I received the Acknowledgement of Receipt or AOR. This is a confirmation that the application submitted has been already received by the immigration, which also means that I submitted all the requested documents and I did all the procedures correctly. By this time, status updates will show up in the PR tracker. So to check the status of my application, I started creating a new account in the application status tracker and signed in to my account from time to time. March 1, 2023, I received the biometric instruction letter. So this letter indicates that I am required to have my fingerprint scanned and photograph taken at a biometric collection service point. So upon receiving this letter, I immediately made an online appointment at Canada Visa Application Center, Manila. Then on my scheduled appointment, I presented my passport the printed copy of the biometric instruction letter and appointment letter. Also, I was advised to turn off my phone and bring only the required documents inside. So if you bring things aside from the requirements, you will have to pay 99 pesos for the locker. March 3, 2023, I received the medical examination instructions stating that I am required to undergo medical examination within 30 days of the date of this letter. This exam must be performed by a doctor from the IRCC list of panel physicians. So right away, I looked for a panel physician and book an appointment. And I chose St. Luke's Medical Center Extension Clinic Manila because it has the earliest available schedule. Then on my appointment date and time, I prepared and submitted the following required documents inside a short brown envelope. Two pieces of recent passport size pictures, printed copy of the appointment confirmation, passport, original and two photocopies of the biographic data page, vaccination card, original and two photocopies, and printed copy of the medical examination instructions and medical report form. And for health and safety reasons, only visa applicants are allowed to enter the clinic. total, I paid the amount of 13,270 pesos. But for those with tattoos and multiple ear piercing, there is an additional charge for further test. March 6, 2023, I received the confirmation of the eligibility of the sponsor, which means my husband met all the requirements as a sponsor. March 20, 2023, my medical exam status has been updated to completed, wherein the document number and the expiry date of my medical exam were also updated in the application status. After more than two months of waiting for the next updates, 
June 8, 2023, the background verification status and eligibility status has been updated to completed. So by now, all status in the application details were completed. By the next day, June 9, 2023, I received the passport request letter from IRCC. And June 10, 2023, I received the pre-arrival services letter. So by this time, my application as permanent resident has been finalized. So I am instructed to submit my passport and other documents at VFS Global Manila within 30 days. June 14, 2023, I submitted my passport at VFS Manila. So mas pinili ko mag-submit in person para mas mabilis ang proseso at sigurado ko na accurate lahat ng isusubmit ko. Sa pag-submit, di na kailangan ng appointment. As long as you receive the PPR, pwede ka na mag-walk-in sa VFS to submit. Kailangan ng agapan ng punta kasi nung mag-submit ako, 7 a.m. pa lang, sobrang haba na ng pila and around 1 p.m. nag-cut off na sila. So, more than 3 hours din ako sa pila, pero mabilis lang ang proseso sa loob, basta tama and kompleto lahat ng documents mo. So, these are the following requirements I submitted. A printed copy of the passport request letter, my passport, two pieces of PR photos following the exact specifications, and completed and signed Appendix B form. Upon completion of the passport submission, I was given a receipt for availing SMS service. This receipt also contains my application reference number and tracking number, which I can use to track the progress of my passport online. They also explain that I will be notified by email upon the return of my passport. And I told them that I will collect the passport myself. These are the notifications I received from VFS Global through email. This application has been received at the VAC, has been dispatched to the IRCC office, has been received and is under process at the IRCC office. Then after six days, the decision envelope for my application has been dispatched from the IRCC office to the VAC and finally has been received at the VAC and is now ready for collection. Filipino immigrants are those living the country to settle permanently abroad are required to register with the Commission on Filipino Overseas and attend Redeparture Orientation Seminar. Therefore, after receiving my visa and COPR, I immediately registered and reserved a slot online. So, dahil mahirap makakuha ng slot sa online session, pinili ko na lang ang 
on-site or face-to-face -face transaction. And I chose the earliest available schedule. Then, on the date of my appointment, I bring the following requirements. A printed copy of the barcoded confirmation of appointment, valid passport, valid visa, COPR, and one valid ID. So after receiving a certificate online, nagbook na agad si Habi ng plane ticket. Then scheduled flight namin is June 23, 2023. Then we landed in Canada June 24, 2023. So it took us about seven months to complete the whole application process. So sulit lahat ng Pagod at pabalik-balik na biyahe. Kaya kung ikaw ay nasa proseso ng paghihintay ng progress or update ng iyong application, tap it at pray lang. Magiging matagumpay rin lahat ng ginagawa mong proseso. Naway makatulong sa iyo ang vlog na ito. And kung meron kang tanong, comment ka lang and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and God bless!